Hey guys, my name is Darkwater Killer, and I hope you're having a wonderful day. Today I'll be showing you how to create a custom block loot table with bonus drops. In the case of this video, I'll be modifying cobblestone to have a chance of giving the additional items with their respective drop chances shown uh, right here on my screen. The idea for this video is suggested by Sour is Go Go on the channel's official Discord server. If you have a video suggestion or need help with data packs, there will be a link to join the server in the description below. So to start us off, what I have here is just a blank data pack with all the folders that we'll need to do this, which is just inside data. All you need is Minecraft inside of Minecraft. You have loot underscore tables, and inside of that you just have a folder called blocks. So the only thing we actually have left to do is make the new loot table. And to do that, I'm just going to go into blocks, new file, and call it cobblestone.json. Okay. And we're going to open our tags. And our first tag is going to be a list called pools. The first pool is just going to include um the cobblestone drop so it'll always drop the cobblestone still and inside here we just need to say type item name minecraft cobblestone and that's all there is for this first pool now the additional pools are going to be these bonus drops right here. So the first one I'm going to be adding in is iron ore with a 7% chance. So again, rolls, we'll give it one roll. Entries. I don't like that placement. Okay. Add a new entry. Type. Item. Name. Minecraft. Iron and in addition to type and name, we're just going to need a list of conditions with a single condition in there of Minecraft random chance. And that just has one additional tag inside below it that is called chance. And for cobblestone, um, chance is a number from 0 to 1, so for a 7% chance, what we're going to need to enter as chance is 0 0.07, and that is a 7% chance. So this is basically what you have to do for all of the entries. It's really not too much to know and not too much to do. It's just... Each entry should have its own pool in this case of All right, so I'm done adding the other pools and as you can see we've got coal ore which now has a 10% chance to drop as per our list off to the right of the screen. Uh, redstone, 5% chance. Lapis Lazuli, also a 5% chance. And then Diamond Ore has a 2% chance. Um, like I said, it's real simple. Um, easy to follow. It's not too complex. Um, and now that we're done with it, we can actually go into the world that has this data pack and test it. All right, now I'm in the world that this data pack is loaded into. As you can see, when I type data pack list, it will tell me that there are two data packs enabled, the vanilla and the um, data pack we have right now. This is before reloading, and so before I reload, I'm just going to show you the... Um, default original loot table, which when I pull this lever, all it's going to do is 
trigger that loot table 100 times. So as you can see, I have 100 cobblestone now. Um, nothing interesting. It's the default loot table for cobblestone. It's as expected. And so um, I'm just going to clear my inventory, reset the scoreboard, and reload the data pack and wait for that to finish. Okay, and now when I pull the lever, you'll notice that it doesn't work. That's because... Alright, so um, the reason that didn't work, I found out, is because I had the name for Lapis Lazuli Ore, the namespaced ID for it, I had that incorrect. It's actually just Lapis Ore, not Lapis Lazuli Ore. So I'm just going to make that tweak, save it, and then go back into Minecraft. Okay, I'm back in the game. Now I'm just going to reset the scoreboard again, reload, and try again. Yep, and there you go. It's going to trigger that 100 times, and you'll see that occasionally I was given the blocks that we added to the um, loot table. And you'll see that it's roughly close to the percentages that we input. So 100% of the time we got cobblestone. About 10% of the time, it was 11% this time, we got um, coal ore. Iron ore isn't really close to the number that we put in. Uh, it, sh it should be closer to 7. Um, both the redstone and lapis are really close. Lapis was 6%, and then the diamond was dead on 2 diamond. That's 2%. 2 out of 100 diamond ore. So that's how you can add other bonuses to other blocks. Like if I wanted to do this for oak logs instead or a weird thing with obsidian where obsidian has a chance of dropping more than one, you can do something like that by adding a condition to a set count function. Um, it's This applies to pretty much every style of loot table. Um, I'll run it again, actually, even. So I'll just do that. Turn it again. And. Wow. Uh, no diamond door that time. So it is percentages. It's pseudo random. It's not gonna, it's not gonna always every hundred cobblestone. You're not always gonna get two diamond door. But, um. It's just probability in the way that the RNG of the game works. Um, yeah, so if again, if you have a suggestion or questions about data packs, um, consider joining the channel's Discord server. Uh, there will be a link in the description. If you want to see more data pack tutorial videos in the future or potential demos of cool things I figured out to do with data packs, consider subscribing to my channel. Uh, leave a like or a dislike, depending on, well, if you liked or didn't like the video. Either one doesn't really matter. I just want to get your guys' feedback and know if you enjoyed it or not. If you have anything else that you want to include, feedback or anything, consider leaving a comment. Thanks for watching, and have an amazing day.